Huge animals obviously grab our imaginations. We all love a megalodon or a T-Rex, but we think it's finally time to shine a light on things at the cuter end of the spectrum. These are animals so tiny, they make Ant-Man look big. Prepare to say, aww. These are the smallest animals in the world. Number 15. Dwarf Marmoset Monkey Pygmy marmosets belong to a group of five families of primates that are found in the tropical regions of Central and South America and Mexico. They are native to the rainforests of the western Amazon basin and are one of the smallest monkeys in the world. These tiny primates prefer evergreen and river-edge forests and weigh just over 100 grams. They have orange-brown fur and a long tail like a squirrel and dodge behind tree trunks and branches like one too, freezing and dashing, hoping to avoid predators. And because of their size, they can't take any chances. Fortunately, the pygmy marmoset is adept at galloping through the treetops, using its long tail for balance. Their claw-like fingernails help them to climb up and down tree trunks as well. Most of their population live in stable troops. These are groups made up of between two and nine monkeys. An average troop will include a dominant male, a breeding female, and up to four successive litters of offspring. The little monkeys are gum feeders, mainly eating the gum and sap of trees and bugs for protein. Their feeding area is as small as they are, with the marmoset only moving within half an acre of home base at any given time. They are chatty little characters, communicating with each other using a complex system of vocal, chemical, and visual signals. Their trilling is so high-pitched that humans can't even hear it. Smart, curious, and playful, they are a common sight in zoos, nature reserves, national parks, and exotic pet stores. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or Slenderman will come from under your bed while you're sleeping. Number 14. Pygmy Rabbit There's no denying it, rabbits are cute, and the smaller the better. In many places, they are considered a pest, overrunning farmland, destroying gardens, and generally wreaking havoc. I mean, we've all heard about the tales of Peter Rabbit, haven't we? They might be adorable, but they're also mischievous and terrible troublemakers. The pygmy rabbit is no exception, but they're probably slightly less destructive given their size. They weigh between 375 and 500 grams and measure up to 29 centimeters long when fully grown. The world's smallest rabbit, the pygmy is easily distinguished from other breeds due to its small size, short ears, and coloring. They are primarily gray and lack white fuzzy fur, common amongst other rabbits. A North American native, the pygmy is one of only two rabbit species in the country to dig its own burrow. The U.S. federal government also has them listed as endangered. They normally inhabit areas with deep soil and tall, dense sagebrush that can be used for shelter as well as food. Burrows are mainly used in the winter months and are usually located on slopes at the base of the same sagebrush plants. The pygmy rabbit eats sagebrush, grasses, and forbs. Due to their size, they have many predators, including coyotes, red foxes, badgers, bobcats, owls, and northern harriers. They also have a relatively short lifespan of just three to five years. Number 13. Madam Birth's Mouse Lemur like all lemurs, the Madame Birth's mouse lemur inhabits the dry, deciduous forests of southwestern Madagascar off the east coast of Africa. They are the smallest known living primate in the world and look much like a miniature possum. On average, miniature lemurs measure just 9.2 centimeters long and weigh around 30 grams. The first was discovered in the Karindi Forest in western Madagascar in 1992 by a conservationist and primatologist named Berth. 
Named after her, the lightweight lemur has extremely large eyes adapted for nocturnal foraging. These animals face numerous challenges when it comes to feeding, with seasonal temperature fluctuations causing certain fruits and insects to become scarce. They breed once a year in November and can display highly competitive behavior when looking for a suitable mate. Like gray mouse lemurs, Madame Births have two-month gestation and nursing periods. Their lifespan is short. In the wild, they may only live five years. If kept in captivity, they can live up to 15. Solitary, tree-dwelling, and nocturnal, they move along tree branches using all four of their limbs at once. They mainly forage for food about 10 meters above the ground and have a diet that consists largely of honeydew. They supplement this with a combination of gums, flowers, fruits, insects, and small vertebrates, such as chameleons and geckos. Number 12. Etruscan Shrew if you're looking for the perfect household pet, one that doesn't take up a lot of room, the Etruscan Shrew could be well worth considering. Also known as the Etruscan Pygmy Shrew or the White-Toothed Pygmy Shrew, it is the smallest mammal by mass in the world. This tiny little character weighs only 1.8 grams and has a body length, excluding its tail, of about 4 centimeters. This is smaller than a standard matchbox. Known for its fast pace and even faster metabolism, the Etruscan shrew eats between 1.5 and 2 times its own body weight in food per day. That's pretty impressive when you consider how much food us humans would have to eat to compete with that. They prefer warm, damp climates and have a preference for vertebrates and small invertebrates. Although they mainly eat insects, the Etruscan shrew is capable of hunting, killing, and eating individuals the same size as itself. They are generally uncommon and believed to inhabit the belt between 10 degrees and 30 degrees north latitude stretching from Europe and North Africa up to Malaysia and in the Maltese Islands situated in the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. In some countries, they are labeled as endangered. Number 11. Speckled Padloper Tortoise the speckled padloper tortoise is endemic to South Africa and the smallest of the tortoise family. Commonly referred to as simply the speckled tortoise, this tiny land dweller normally lives on rocky outcrops, foraging among the rocks for tiny succulent plants to eat. Super healthy, really vibrant colors. The male of the species is smaller than the female, at just 6 to 8 centimeters long. The female can measure up to almost 10 centimeters. They have a flattened, orange-brown colored shell with slightly serrated edges. The shell is covered in hundreds of black spots, hence the name. The padloper part of their name means trail walker. This refers to the many trails and paths where they are often found in the wild. The male tortoise has a noticeably concave belly, and both sexes have five toes on their forefeet, unlike their relatives who have just four on all four feet. Speckled padlopers are most active early in the morning when they feel the safest. They tend to hide between rock crevices to avoid being seen by birds, their main predator. Other threats to these little tortoises include road traffic, habitat destruction, and introduced species, such as domestic dogs and pigs, and poaching for the pet trade. If taken from their natural habitat, most die as they are incapable of adapting to the change in diet and environment. Number 10. Kitty's Hog-Nosed Bat Sometimes referred to as the bumblebee bat due to its pint-sized stature, Kitty's hog-nosed bat is commonly found in limestone caves along rivers in both western Thailand and southeast Myanmar. Discovered in the 1970s, the miniature bat is the smallest species of bat and could arguably be the world's smallest mammal, depending on how size is defined. It measures up to 1.3 inches long and weighs just 2 grams. With its pig-like snout, reddish-brown or gray coat, 
relatively large ears and beady eyes, the little bat is easily distinguished from its larger peers. They live in colonies of between 100 and 500 individuals per cave and feed either in the evening or before daybreak. Their diet mainly consists of insects that they forage for on the forest floor. Potential threats to Kitty's hog-nosed bat are primarily environmental and include habitat degradation and the disturbance of their roosting sites. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has them listed as vulnerable. Number 9. Slender Blind Snakes not to be confused with three blind mice, slender blind snakes are a species within the three blind snake family. Although the word blind forms part of their name, these snakes aren't completely blind. Their tiny eyes are covered with translucent scales, which means their eyes can't form images but can register light intensity. Also known as thread or worm snakes, slender blind snakes are thin with smooth, shiny scales that have a segmented appearance. They are normally colored pink, light or dark brown, black or gray, but there are a few South American species that are striped. The slender blind snake is a burrowing snake, spending most of its time deep inside the earth, sometimes as much as 15 meters down. It prefers loose soil and will only emerge when it rains or forced out by flooding. The bodies of most species of the slender blind snake are no wider than 0.5 centimeters, and some are as small as just one millimeter wide. You can literally hold them in the palm of your hand. They are also the only snake on Earth that has teeth on the lower jaw, but not on their upper jaw. They will eat almost any type of insect, including caterpillars, beetles, and cockroaches, but are known to prefer ants and termites. Number 8. Pedophryne amoensis If you aren't really a frog fan, these little characters will be enough to whet your appetite. They are by no means scary and no bigger than a common housefly. In fact, they can happily sit on your fingernail with plenty of wiggle room. The world's smallest known vertebrate, the Pedophryne amoensis, measures just 7.7 .7 millimeters long. Wait, he likes to mess around with them. This is a mere whisker shorter than the previous record holder, a female Southeast Asian fish species that measured just 7.9 millimeters long. The frog species was discovered in Papua New Guinea in 2009. Christopher Austin, a Louisiana State University herpetologist, and his PhD student Eric Rittemeyer found it while exploring the biodiversity of the country. The little frog was picked up near a Mao village in the central province from which it takes part of its name. It's not known how long the frogs have inhabited the earth as they were difficult to detect. Their calls resemble those of other insects and they have clever camouflaging techniques. The frog was found purely by accident when Austin and Rittmeyer gathered up handfuls of leaf litter into plastic bags. They later discovered the tiny frog hopping around inside. The find was published in a peer-reviewed scientific journal in January 2012 and made the top 10 new species list for discoveries made during 2012. These frogs live in the leaf litter on the floors of tropical forests and are capable of jumping 30 times their body length. Length. Number 7. A Dwarf Lantern Shark Now this is one shark I could handle. Barely bigger than an adult male's hand, the Dwarf Lantern Shark measures approximately 20 centimeters long. It is possibly the smallest shark in the world and is believed to inhabit the upper continental slopes off Colombia and Venezuela at depths of around 283 and 439 meters. So, uh, like their name implies, they can generate light uh, through bioluminescence. It shouldn't come as too much of a surprise that these sharks are difficult to locate. Comparable to their size, the ocean is a big place, so they have plenty of places to hide. But they also have clever camouflage techniques, with light-emitting organs along their belly and fins. This helps them to blend in with the sunlight streaming down from above when they feed in shallow water. They also help in the darker water, attracting smaller animals for the shark to feed on. 
The shark has a long, wide, and flattened head that measures almost a fifth of their total length, and large eyes that enhance its sight in the mostly dark waters of the ocean. Given their size, it's also amazing that the dwarf lantern shark has so many teeth. Their lower jaw has 30 to 34 rows, their upper jaw 25 to 32. That's a lot of teeth for such a small fish. Number 6. Jaragua Lizard The world's smallest known lizard is so tiny it can sit comfortably on a U.S. quarter with room to spare. The tiny Jaragua dwarf gecko that measures between 1.6 and 1.8 millimeters from snout to tail was discovered by two American biologists on the Dominican Republic's remote Beta Island in 1998. Richard Thomas and Blair Hedges of the University of Puerto Rico found the dark brown specimen on the deserted island that is also home to giant lizards known as Rhinoceros iguana. The miniature gecko measured only 1.6 centimeters long, slightly smaller than a related species living several islands away in the British Virgin Islands. Thomas and Hedges' findings were published in the Caribbean Journal of Science in December 1998. They believed that the gecko may have made its way to Beta Island from the main island of Hispaniola across a land bridge during the last ice age. Of all 23,000 species of reptiles, birds, and mammals, researchers have named the Jaragua gecko as the smallest. They mainly inhabit Jaragua National Park in the extreme southwest of the Dominican Republic, nearby Beat Island, and Puerto Rico. They have also been found in the southernmost tip of the Barahona Peninsula. Number 5. The Rusty Spotted Cat, Prionellurus ruby genosis. This is the world's smallest wild cat. The rusty spotted cat is known to inhabit India, Sri Lanka, and western Terai of Nepal. The feline measures between 35 and 48 centimeters and weighs just 1.6 kilograms. <laughs> Measurements do not include the tiny cat's tail, as it is half the size of its body. Most of the cat's body is covered with short gray fur. They have six dark streaks on each side of their heads, extending over their cheeks and forehead, and their underbelly is white with large dark spots. Rusty spots are also visible across their back and flanks, hence the cat's name. A gorgeous little cat, they look very much like the domesticated variety, with a wild streak. Active, playful, and often very affectionate, the rusty spotted cat prefers dense vegetation and rocky areas. They prey on small animals like frogs, rodents, insects, small birds, and reptiles, and have often clashed with humans over their taste for domestic poultry. Unfortunately, these tiny little wild cats, like their larger relations, are listed as a vulnerable species. This is mainly due to the loss and destruction of the deciduous forests they call home. Number 4. Bee Hummingbird This species of hummingbird is a complete replica of the larger version, just in miniature form. Considered the smallest bird on the planet, the male of the species measures just 2.24 inches long and weighs a mere 1.6 grams. The bee hummingbird is native to Cuba and the Isle of Youth, and is believed to have the lowest weight limit for any warm-blooded animal on the planet. A beautiful little brightly colored bird, they are not much bigger than an adult male's thumb. Despite its stature, the bee hummingbird is a swift, strong flyer. It mainly feeds on nectar and an occasional insect or spider. And if you think the mature version is small, you should see they're young. The female lays two eggs at a time, and these are the size of coffee beans. They are hatched with their eyes closed, weigh approximately 0.62 grams, and measure about one inch long, so cannot regulate their own body heat. They require a lot of care and attention from their mothers to survive, not unlike a human baby. Number 3. Vaquita 
These petite members of the porpoise family are called vaquita, which literally means little cow. Males measure up to 140 centimeters and females 150 centimeters. They are the most endangered of the world's marine mammals and also the smallest of all living cetaceans. On the brink of extinction, there are believed to be less than 30 vaquitas left in the wild. To sit there and let the entire ocean die because of the greed of a few? They are a shy species and have the smallest range of any whale, dolphin, or porpoise. The vaquita only lives in the northern part of the Gulf of California, where fish and shrimp are plentiful. The major source of income in the area is from fishing, and these tiny mammals have often accidentally become ensnared in gill nets and drowned. The decrease in the vaquita population is also linked to a large fish that inhabits the Gulf of California. The totoaba is also an endangered species, but one that is illegally fished in the area. The nets set to catch the totoaba are unfortunately the deadliest for the vaquita, as they are similar in size. Scientists agree that if the vaquita is to survive, gill net fishing must cease. But whether that'll happen anytime soon is anyone's guess. Number 2. Hippocampus Denise These little seahorses are native to the Western Pacific. They are one of the smallest seahorses on the planet, reaching a maximum length of approximately 2.4 centimeters long. The Hippocampus Denise is also known as Denise's Pygmy Seahorse or the Yellow Pygmy Seahorse. It has a short snout, slender body, and a tail that is capable of grasping hold of objects. Their body is either completely smooth or has some polyp-like tubercles on it. They are considered incredibly rare, with sightings throughout the western Pacific at depths between 13 and 100 meters. The seahorse is incredibly clever when it comes to masking its appearance. It can change color, which helps to confuse or even frighten potential predators. They also use this skill for communicating their emotions and intentions, especially during courtship. Luckily for the female seahorse, the male broods the eggs in its ventral brood pouch, and the pups exit the pouch when fully grown. Like other seahorses, neither male nor female has an intestinal system, but they do have a basic stomach. They eat small crustaceans and zooplankton that drift past. Number 1. Chihuahua Standing between 5 and 8 inches tall, what these tiny canines lack in size, they certainly make up for in courage. The Chihuahua weighs a maximum of 6 pounds and is classified as the smallest breed of dog in the world. Oh, is that a pity? <laughs> Named after the Mexican state of Chihuahua, the little dog is both brave and fast, which makes it an excellent guard dog. Their ferocity is largely dependent on their owner's behavior and the genetic temperament of their parents and grandparents. They can be quite placid if bred and trained well. Delicate and vulnerable to injuries and attacks from larger animals, the Chihuahua can be easily frightened or provoked. Families with small children might find them unsuitable, as they also have a reputation for being fiercely loyal to one person and as a result may become overprotective. There are two varieties of Chihuahua, the smooth coat and the long coat. Some kennel clubs consider them separate breeds, others the same. Both have their special attractions and can occur in virtually any color combination. Common colors are fawn, red, cream, chocolate, brown, mixed, white, and black. Even though they're small, they do not view their size as a disadvantage and typically do not show fear. They do, however, tend to feel the cold and can be often found under the covers or at the bottom of the bed. There are some animals that are really up against it when it comes to the circle of life. They are small and fragile and find it difficult, sometimes impossible, to stick up for themselves. Take the pygmy seahorse, for example. It's so small and barely stands a chance against predators. But fortunately, it can change color and virtually disappear. And it's not the only small animal with secret superpowers either. There are many more. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!